Hello everyone. I hope this is going through okay. As you can probably hear, we're back. So I do probably need to turn this down some. <laughs> uh, shame. Yeah. Okay. If you see me pause and look down, it's because of the phone. Picture locations. Not sure if you can see that or not. If I seem frustrated right now, it's because I really am. No, uh, uh, what we're okay. Uh. Yeah. Whoa, the brightness there. Suppose I should turn down my TV brightness. That could have been what I was turning off by. Uh. Okay, that is much better. I don't look wait. Yeah, I'm...
machine. Oh. That was a good movie or a TV show while it was going. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Yeah. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Oh. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Quantum time mechanic, theory. Ooh. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. I've left you on the brink of... Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over <laughs> life itself. It will. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based oh, on a true right. story. I mean, yeah, you can time travel, essentially. that easy. <laughs> Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Everywhere I watch again. <laughs> right? Hop on late. Okay, Max. Let's hit the options. showers now. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe Aww. depression. Poor thing. Yeah, depression's not a fun thing. Well, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, can sit done. I think that was sarcasm. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Pie. He doesn't love a little pie. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. 
Kate is an early bird, she might be up and gone. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Meat is not murder. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Uh, if I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. Max, I don't want to talk. Comprendo? Hi, Dana. How are you? No, Much not, better I... than yesterday. I'm glad you <sighs> talked. Hi, person. I, I, I don't know who... Me too. Join. I know it's good to just True, but hello. talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. Yeah. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor is asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch war. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. Uh, so, are you coming to the party or not? Uh, why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. <laughs> That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. Ah, it. it does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Oh, person left. Speaking of Halloween, Jesus. look at all this makeup. Well, at least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Curiosity killed the man. Yes. Rollerblades. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them <laughs> Ouch. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Jesus. Halloween party. I don't know how Trevor is making himself oh, no. comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. <laughs> Oops. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. <laughs> Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria uh, that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back <laughs> in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Thank That's you. the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'm not watching the video, Max. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Right. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren <laughs> can. Did you talk oh. to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Yeah. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure how. Um. Comforting. 
clearly not a morning person. Right? Uh, let's see if Victoria's willing to talk. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Bitch. <laughs> uh. <gasps> There's Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes oh. for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Get a shower first. it that video of you clubbing didn't look like homework oh, those bitches. victoria that wasn't me oh my god right don't be shy i think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday oh boo hoo i'm sorry you're a viral slut i'm sure she had fun looks like it i know nathan hooked her up and you know he has the good shit Reach it, sister. Yo, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing <laughs> my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. And we ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident. Bum, bum, bum. There you go, Pets. I'm streaming. We need to build those lights. Huh? <laughs> we need to build that light. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be difficult. No, it's it's an easy build. I'll probably do it on the weekend. Awesome. Or I'll at least get it. Like the I, I had someone jump in for like a minute and a half on my stream, and I'm like, oh, hey, a person joined. Hello, person. And then like not even a minute after me saying that, they left, and it's like, oh. <laughs> oh crap. Hope you had fun. It's like, ah oh, crap. He's talking. Ugh. <laughs> I'm here just to watch and creep. Probably. I mean, I'll jump in on some videos and just like hang around for the most part. <laughs> and then it's um like if someone says something controversial that I see, I'll call them out on it. But see, I don't know if I care enough. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, going back. I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. Uh -huh. You can hang out with Kate or Max. Victoria on this game is a bitch. Okay. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance Aww. to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's going to be erased. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? 
sorry. I forgot. First picture is coming up. What are you doing? Uh, no fucking way. <laughs> this is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. What? It's just that it's a carpenter pencil. Ah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. What is wrong with people? A great many things. <laughs> I, I was mainly doing commentary there, but thank you for answering. <laughs> uh, of course she just spilled oh. soda on Kate's book. Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't uh, want to add to her list of problems. <laughs> what? No pencil is real. <laughs> the pencil is real. Right. Be gone. There, now when I show up to English class, I have a writing utensil. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. I got the book. I got the book. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on the true story. The this picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. I do Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah, crap. Do I take pictures? I cannot remember how to take a picture. Now yeah, I should check the messages. Even with oh, all this shit. crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Uh. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even remind time. Yeah, that is a fair point. Now how to... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. No, no, no. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. How does one take pictures again? <laughs> Oh shit. No, dang it. Oh my god, how?
Ah, crap, I can't remember how to take a picture. <laughs> Hold on. Now, I think it's like a auto thing, but I cannot for the life of me remember. Seriously, why? Why do people do this? And that, that's another thing ridiculous. Whenever people are getting bullied, it's um. Like, if a kid tells someone about what's going on, the kid gets in trouble and reports it. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be for me. You in there? Yes, I'm here. I'm in there. Uh, pause. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. Right. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Oh, wow. But yeah. Kate used to play the violin every really morning. Retarded because she stopped last week. Whenever a kid gets reported for bullying of any kind, they, the people are normally like, oh, well, such and such person reported you. And it's like, seriously? That is the cutest Aww. bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Uh -huh. Okay. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Right? Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for her. <laughs> That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting mm. father. Ouch. She left out amnation. I spirit her devil. Oh. That's harsh. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Jesus. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Well, she is depressed. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. I wonder if that's an actual website. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Believe in yourself. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Yikes. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. 
almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Oh. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. Right? I, was hoping he I mean, would. he's an adult. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. Uh. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Uh. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And she I have no memory. Goofy. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. The hell is what going happened at the party? on? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank one. Rufy. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember Rufy. getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember right. about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white nah. and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Nathan needs to go to jail. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She uh -huh. was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Once the video goes viral, there's pretty much Thanks, no Max. stopping it. You can put my book here near my bag. Because people like save it and re-upload it, and it's it's horrible. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Sure. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He probably hurt you. Should I go to the police? You'll have to look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. Yeah. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. Yeah. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on yeah. that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. I'm sorry, Kate. It's the best advice, though. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. We really do. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Because 
wealthy people get away with bullshit all the time because they're wealthy. <gasps> Food! Two elves. <laughs> I will not stop thinking of some emojis. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Uh, the next picture... Range for a set of dormitories set photo track. Okay. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. It's so creepy. Oh, quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> My spirit animal is a squirrel. Yeah, he is kind of squirrely. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? So Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> right? I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning Did ritual. he seriously just refer to himself on the third Of course you will. It's creepy. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time yes. for your 15 minutes of fame. Photo trap. Uh, wait for the line to get close to the center Okay. Okay. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Who needs to wait? Got him! Uh, who else is there? Ah, this person. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. <sighs> Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just right. talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll learn. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Yeah. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Ooh, wait, I wonder. Okay, now let's try this. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? <laughs> well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did.
Wow. Wow. Just holy crap, that is some screwed up shit. First, Nathan threatens me, and now his father? Max, check it out. Warren is out and about already, too. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal <laughs> superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Nope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Awesome. This is going to be one of the longer chapters. Shit. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I wouldn't dream of it. Be a millionaire. 
Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. <laughs> I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, Ouch. good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. <laughs> I want to take a picture. Haha, there we go. The third picture. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. And we were happy. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? What's the world is that? on fire, and our big headline is snow. Uh. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Huh. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Excuse me, I have to read my horoscope. God, I hate that guy. Jesus. Man, that small I breakfast missing and the sound of playing silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for Dave. He served his country. He found no. his calling at Blackwell. No, he didn't. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. 
I have to go now. It'd be a better Enjoy thought than a security guard. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Oops. I, I think I got the RV. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. <laughs> Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in That's a diner when you grow up. Not what she meant. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. God, he's an asshole. Uh. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me at the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? And I got two. I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets Ooh, in Blackwell cool. anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Oh, let's see what this street's Getting about. Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? No. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Jesus Pour some Christ. Bags. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of the room. Trevor finally told me about him uh, and Dana hooking up. Come on. He got connect. there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Let the entire thing's frozen. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's working again. <laughs> Dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Right? Oh, I would man. buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Oh, good God. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I don't like her. She's too perky. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. And I saved, kid. You're still <laughs> smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel... Bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's 
my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with no. your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. <laughs> no, she understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Hey. I see why. She's... I mean, why? She's what did Chloe three. tell you? Perfect ones. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. Nah. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his debt. That is no excuse. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Nah, nah. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to All those boats sound good. Gotta go with the bacon, though. I was dreaming about your bacon. Gotta bit. go with the bacon. Now finish your coffee. But yeah, just because he was in the war. One bacon not. Only for the, young. the only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Just because he was in the war does not give him the, the excuse down. to be asshole. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Oh yes, black coffee. <laughs> you will be mine. I mean... The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Right. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you have plenty. Stick with bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. <laughs> This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Here, Lynn from you'll love here, this. Max. Here, you'll love this. Mm. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh. mm. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. Put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. <laughs> oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Here, you can ask You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? I actually have to agree with her on that one. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. 
You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. No. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in you, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. It would have been amazing if I had gotten that on my first try. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe it. Oh, wait. Uh, cigarettes. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Mm, cigarettes change. Parking ticket. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Six cigarettes. Absolutely! Wrong. Okay, psychic girl. <sighs> okay. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget Seven. anything. Ah, oh, that was my gut instinct, too. A dollar and six. No. Eighty-six cents. Okay. <laughs> that was so cold sounding. So, this is me too. Okay, Max. I'm pretty sure you... Yes, you know I'm a smoke. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Okay. Okay. I, I knew that I had to look at the time Okay, Max. As well. Study every item carefully uh, and don't forget anything. 10.34 a.m. Okay. Please don't force me to go through all that again. So. Oh. Okay, Max. Yes, you know. Seven. You're top. You do have. Hmm. Clearly, I'm eighty-six. That's right. So that was cool. A parking ticket. You know me well. Ten thirty. Four. Booyah! Max can tell time! Holy shit! <laughs> Baseballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! <laughs> you have powers! <laughs> Don't you take that crap off the table, Chloe! Sure, Mom! How's the food, Max? <laughs> Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. 
No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it. I'm finishing it. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. That was wrong. Okay. The jukebox ah. goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything. I just like got all of that wrong. I, I'm, I already know I got those I'm wrong. I'm going to predict. Uh, trucker drops his the mug. The trucker drops his So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh. Uh. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. Well, I think I got a phone call. Happens, Hold like on. Said. I'm going to make a call real quick. I'll be back in a few.
Okay. I'm back. Mm. Hey. It's my... Yeah, my um, grandma tried to call me to see if I was okay. So, yeah. Yep, still working. So... Let's watch this play out now. Oops. Did, Did you break? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my phone? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is a sad day in Mexico. Oh, this is right. I'm going to predict the trucker drops. It. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh, the crap. jukebox goes crazy no. as the fly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. That was a roach. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Crap. <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm going to predict. Okay, let's try this again. The trucker. So what? The well, this is getting. Okay. All right. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Mm, Ice tea. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? No, Mom. no refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. <laughs> I'm finishing it. Trevor Woo. and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. <laughs> I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully ah. test your power. You need a sight to guide you. Okay. I had to take the call out. Show me the way to Chloe's game. Eaten up by mosquitoes. Now my legs itch. Let's talk later when I'm not so hot. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what we do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big what? You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. 
So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate, I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Come on, don't be that way. Rachel went missing. I get that. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Did I seriously just miss a bunch of pictures? Please say I didn't. Frick! I did. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Oh. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. I'm gonna have to play through this again after I finish Train? recording. Yuck. You are so cute. To get the pictures. A bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Gear and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Yeah. The bus! It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. What? Oh! Don't want to go there. There's a dose somewhere. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. Got it! <laughs> what does it look like? Time to go. Is my 
It is seriously dying. Damn it! Okay. Behind the tires. There we go. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. Gotta plug my controller up. Oh, no. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Did I seriously just kill another mosquito? Don't worry, it's just a little bit of blood. Oh, an old camera. Beyond repair. Oh. Rest in peace. Sad face. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Get me. Boom. Only three bottles left. Uh, I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. was an old school punk shirt. Yeah, it was. I like exploring. Ah. It's so quiet and primordial out here. Nah. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. The message is wrong. Get the fuck out of Dodge. I don't want to go there. Oh. Thanks for the tip.
there's no something here. This looks like a graffiti Whoa. museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. I, I love how CD they are really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Yeah. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. <gasps> I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Probably Rachel. Ouch. But yeah. Because Kate said that she's gone to a Vortex Club party ended up getting Talk drunk. Talk about finding a bottle so in a haystack. Kate probably. Or Rachel probably would do the same thing. And she probably took one of two ways to they get They would out. have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Yeah, it does. And I'm not one for it. Or to go to a raise. God, I cannot talk. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Uh, Am I morbid or just goth? Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Every car has its own tale and history. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. I don't want to go that way. But I want to go that way. What about what I want? Mm -hmm. Me. But how to get up there is the question. Ah. Those shells look fresh. The Bigfoots were here. <laughs> right? Whoa. No. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Cool. At least not everything is broken around here. One more. One more bottle to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. <laughs> Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. 
happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Now where's the last button? I can't just use cans. find dirty ass bottles when you chill. <laughs> Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So bow. We can make the world <laughs> bow. Are you ready? Bow. No pain. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long? No, it works fine. Dude, like you fuck shit up, days. you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. <laughs> right? I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Oh, wait a minute. Is that up here? Bonfire spot. This looks like a really good bonfire spot. But it's obviously not the spot. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. There it is. The last bottle. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. what happens when you put your tea in a freezer. You get ice. Wait, wait. one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna Here shoot we go. all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot Bit to the right, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? Gotta You're shoot. on target. Pull the trigger. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. 
<laughs> Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Whoa! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was cool. Like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? No. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. Step back, gas tank go boom. I gotta see what happens. Shit, out. Dude, I need a tart. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. <laughs> I don't know why I like doing this. Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottom casualties. <laughs> boom! Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! <laughs> Ow. Dude, I need a- How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> that did it. Uber cool. <laughs> I cannot believe this is for real. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so soon. Max! And that is what you get for messing with time. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not <laughs> enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you God, this it's power good. really messes with my head. Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. <laughs> okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh-oh. Hey. Stelm and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough. What are you hiding there, girly? 
Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. It's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girl. Never shoot. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. Yeah. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Right. Now we don't have hide a body. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. How much oh, man. Oh. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Wonder what would happen if we shot him. Obviously, I'm not going to like keep it as a permanent decision. Are you ready to do this? We should jet. We have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Yeah. Danger is never a good thing. Are you ready to do That's this? Not we should him. jet. We have... I mean, he'll take the gun and all that, but. Come on, girly. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Where is Chloe? Is she in her little... Nope, there she is. Okay. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out. There we go. I can't 
can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Aww. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers That's like what I want to know. It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Oh no, don't. No. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he was. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, <laughs> that's, that's all. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? It's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she <laughs> must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. Oh, my phone. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. Okay. Reconnected to the chat. I'd rather Not be that good anyone's forever. talking. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. This bad boy. Score. What am I looking for? Oh, time based. I hate him. Now I can pull a total MacGyver.
I can finally move the drum. Lift Chloe up. Max, get me out of here! Oh. Damn. That was close. <gasps> you saved me again. I was totally bombed in your life. You okay? I got splinters in my ass and legs, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. <laughs> my powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Hopefully. That she was a person for a second. Thanks uh, for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You've saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know about it. Shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? Yeah, I'm just a geek girl in some way. small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? No. We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! <laughs> like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? <laughs> because we're back in action again. Right. Time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. So are you a Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Justin always looks dumb. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sex in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like <laughs> now. Then let's not. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. No problem. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. If I was normal, 
I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Hello, climate change. Trevor surveys his domain. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Mart. Oh, I just want to make... Yeah. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. <laughs> I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to score some weed for me. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. But that's Logan. Where's the... Science! I love how Evan is so above the board. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Don't so you can't help. Damn. Okay. Let's try this shit again. Excuse me. But Do you mind if we... I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she... You're a combat. If I didn't care... What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance yeah, cameras. Yeah, it will. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody uh, else does. Excuse me. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. He's doing a great job showing it. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. <laughs> More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I mean, I'm all for security cameras really and all that. You keep those if they're placed in strategic the locations, but not That's monitoring like every inch. Sure. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. 
I have to say, it's hey, not quite yeah. autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. <laughs> Real soon. I don't like the sound of that. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit him. <laughs> don't let me get in your oh, way. Oh, that is so creepy. So long. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Oh, that's Hex me all the time. Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hey, Warren. Maxwell so asking me uh, for help. Have that either. Let's go with sodium. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem. That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. So, it is potassium. Hey, Warren. Let's see what happens when I say I have daddy. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo. Potassium. Weird science. Okay. Hey, Warren. I saw all the options. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> she blinded me with science. <laughs> yes! Point. That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Bring me the brain. Yes! That okay. was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? But I want to take a picture. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. <clears throat> hey, Warren. Hexwell. Asking me for. Have that. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Bring me the brain. Hey, Warren. Okay. Heck. Ask 
asking me. How did I take this picture? I asked. See, look at that. She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But oh. let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. I won't get this. Asking me for help? Have that either. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Oh. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Uh... So you're supposed yes, to help him. That was him. a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. But it ain't. Hey, Warren. Ha Asking. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. <laughs> I go. Let's screw up this thing again. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Hey, Warren. Heck. Ask. Heck. Ask. <laughs> Take the she picture. Me with science. I knew how to pause the recording from this section. Uh, how to take Warren's picture in episode two. Either the teacher. Hi or again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? There are no dumb questions. You know my stock science. teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. Ah. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay. Uh, I... 
I feel really stupid. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. <laughs> Yay! I feel really retarded for that. That was fun like, helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. Right? <gasps> uh oh. Excuse me. Oh, that's cool. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Damn. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the I should have taken the photo. I assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. Yeah. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, no. Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Take the photo. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. When is she never contemplating What's shit? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing <laughs> of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I wonder what he's working on now. That's a great sketch of Dana. Yeah. Daniel is the real deal. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. As you're sitting at her desk. Oh, I'm sure she'll miss 
No time to talk, Max. Flying right, fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we... Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Right? Just slap him. Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say. More than a lot. She didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me. But if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. <laughs> not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Sure. Student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Selves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective for... This is so annoying. Maybe I'll see you later today, and so little time as usual. <laughs> I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh Bitch. by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student, or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people. message about well, for people to judge usually I think it's that one
Yeah, Chloe's gotta be the uh, new message. Lee, people need <sighs> something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Once this chapter is done, I'm speaking of participation. Gonna. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest, <sighs> like Max Caulfield, for example, who I know can't wait to enter. Right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you know today we're studying Jiro <laughs> Skiro. Yes, that beautiful yeah. word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because I have no of idea their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. No! Dismissed. Do not tell me that was the end of the chapter. Okay. Keep going, Max. You can do it. doing here Max stop don't come near me not now it won't work I don't have any power now I have to do this by myself Max seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. 
Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've <laughs> felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have this each other's backs. Like super so sad. I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate! You can't do this to all the people who care about you! No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Wait, Kate. Think about your brothers. They need their sister. You don't know me at all, Max. I told you I only have sisters. Oh, no. You never listen because you don't give a damn. You will now. I fucked up. No! I fucked up. I'm so fucked up. Oh, I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Oh, fuck off. But we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. Because nobody As was standing up for Black her. Will Academy, I take my duty seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was missed. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Coffey, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found Whoa. out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little sh. Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you Once have I'm done with this chapter, say, I'm done with the stream. Excuse but me. On a note, I, I think am Max going and to Nathan go back and play through through the A friend and beginning. fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. 
I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation. Yeah, you are. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Yeah, I am so restarting this. I know this has this been a game. stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Once this chapter's over, I'm I just I'm restarting can't from the believe beginning. It. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. Uh, I, I seriously I hope that is... This week. I hope that there's a way to um, go through and keep Kate alive. I really do. Because that's horrible.
torch in the room above me. I think no matter what, Kate's supposed to die, though. <sighs> well. That bites. So there is a way to save her. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go back and stay hidden, not report Nate, and take the picture because all that will come in handy. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'll do. I'll start start a new game later and play through back up to this point and try. And um, save everyone. But well, holy crap, that's so sad. I might even try. Um, nah, I won't. Nah. I could never do that. Plus, if Chloe has the gun, she'll be tempted to use it, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this almost three hour long playthrough. For those who are watching, you know, after the fact. And, um,. I guess I'll go now. Have a good day, good night, whatever. And I'll see you in the next stream. So, have fun. <laughs>